So for this example, they give me the equation y equals negative x squared plus 4x plus 3. And this represents the height y of a flying disc x seconds after it is, passed, after it is tossed. It's asking me to find out when it's going to return to the ground. So if you think back to when it returns to the ground, that's when my height is 0. And since y is my height, that's when my y is going to be 0. So I'm looking at the equation 0 equals negative x squared plus 4x plus 3. So we can go ahead and we can try to factor this. Remember, if we're looking for when it's 0, if it's set equal to 0, that's when you're trying to solve for x. And we know that we can do that by factoring. If it can't be factored, then I can go ahead and I could graph this, and I could see when it would cross the x-axis, because the x-axis is when my y would equal 0. So I'm going to skip straight just the graphing piece and see what it looks like when I graph it. And then if you wanted to go ahead and try factoring, feel free and see if it works out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a table for myself because I know that I'm going to need that. I'm going to need my x's and my y's. And then I know I need to find the vertex first. So I'm going to start with x equals the opposite of b over 2 times a. So I get the opposite of 4 divided by 2 times negative 1. Negative 4 divided by negative 2. So I know that my vertex is going to be 2. So the two numbers above are 3 and 4. Two numbers below are 1 and 0. So I'm going to plug in the 2 first. So I get y equals negative 2 squared plus 4 times 2 plus 3. Make sure that that negative that you put in is outside of the parentheses, so you want to plug it into your calculator exactly like I have it written here. If you do that, you end up getting the 7. If you did not do it because you're just waiting for me to give you the answers, please double check and make sure that you got the correct answer before you move on to the assignment. So you want to make sure you're plugging it into your calculator correctly. So now I'm going to plug in the 1. Again, I like to do the zeros and 1s. If you would have done the 3 and the 4, it would have been fine. You should still get the same numbers, so I get 6. And the y equals negative 0 squared plus 4 times 0 plus 3. And I got 3, so round about again, 6, 3. If I go ahead and I plot those points then, I'm going to go 4, 3, 3, 6, 2, 7, 1, 6, 0, 3. So it's going to look something like this. So it's not a nice point that this is going to cross right there, but we can say something like between 4 and 5 seconds or about 5 seconds, however you want. On your quiz, I more than likely will give you one that crosses really nicely so you don't have to estimate it all. But it's going to take us about 5 seconds for that flying disc to return to the ground. Here's our last problem here. A baker has modeled the monthly operating costs of making wedding cakes by the function y equals 0.5x squared minus 12x plus 150. y is the total cost in dollars and x is the number of cakes prepared. I need to find out what is the minimum cost to the baker and how many cakes should that he make to yield that minimum cost. So remember, when I see the word minimum, that is just asking me to find the vertex. The vertex and the minimum are the same thing. So I don't need to graph this one. I just need to go straight into that x equals opposite of b over 2 times a. So I'm going to write out my a, my b, and my c are first. So my a is going to be 0.5, my b is going to be negative 12, and my c is going to be 150. So the opposite of negative 12 is going to give me 12 divided by 2 times 0.5. So I get 12 over 1, which gives me 12. So x is 12. So x tells me that it is the number of cakes. So I know I need 12 cakes. And to figure out how much money I'm going to make, I'm going to plug that back in then. So I'm going to plug the 12 in for the x, and I'm going to solve for y. So minus 12 times 12 plus 150.